Hey guys, what's going on? So this was yesterday's leg workout. So I started off with just a couple like dynamic warm-ups just to get my quads nice and ready because that's what I was training to start with. So as you can see, I started off with um, some squats. Now, the first part of the session was just trying to get my knee feeling nice. I just wanted to see how my knee was feeling actually to start with before I made it feel nice. So you can sort of see I'm just taking it slow, nice and controlled, but really what I'm doing is I'm sort of like tweaking my ankles in certain ways, like maybe trying to straighten them up. I'm playing with my knee position with every rep. I'm being very intricate with the details just to see how I feel. So for today's workout, I am taking a lot of time to warm up. I'm just playing with like different cues here and there, trying to do different things with each rep, like I mentioned, to make sure that my knee is properly warmed up. So when I'm squatting, there's a couple different things I'm trying to adjust. It's the distance that my feet are apart from each other, how much uh, pointing my feet does. So are my feet pointing directly straight forward? Are they angled out a little bit? Also, the depth of my squat, I did show in the last video that I was only um, hitting that bench, like I was just touch and go on that bench you can see in the background, but today I wanted to do something different. So as you can see, I've moved on to front squats because now I sort of found what position works best for my knee. I can't really describe it because we all are, like, are built differently, but for me, I'm a little bit wider than shoulder width. My feet, I'm keeping my tibia, fibula, relatively straight um, my feet are pointed and they ain't yeah they're pointed just a little bit now with this side angle you can see the depth of my front squats I'm pretty sure I changed them halfway through because I realized doing that much depth wasn't really necessary and it did start to cause a little bit of aches and pains afterwards so I am dropping below parallel or maybe just at parallel but later on it's going to be just a tad higher yeah, so my front squats, or actually just my squats in general, recently have been feeling really good. They haven't felt this good in a long time, so I'm very happy with that. I'm trying to keep this uh, feeling consistent, because if it feels like it did like when I was doing it, then it'll be great. I can keep getting heavier, start with that progressive overload again. So next up, I had deadlifts. Now, I was pretty much doing the same thing. Started off with a light weight. On the bar is, well, in total, it's a 40 kilos. As you can sort of see, I'm just doing slow, controlled reps. My reps don't look very good. That's because I'm just trying to find out what feels good. I'm tweaking things with every rep, even if you can't see it. So here's an angle from behind, just to see how the bar is moving, what my form looks like, if my knees are sort of pointing inwards or if they're tracking outwards, but they seem to be alright at the moment. Okay, so after I felt comfortable, I loaded the bar up with some weight. That is 60 kilos on the bar. Oh, sorry, I keep saying that, but I mean 60 total, 60 kilos in total. So as you can see, with every rep that I do with a deadlift, I stop at the bottom. It just gives me a chance to sort of reset my setup because I want to be very, you know, good with the form. So I don't want to like cut, make shortcuts or accidentally skip something. I want to make sure that my hips aren't shooting up before my legs press up, which in this case I did do a little bit of, but I was trying my best not to. So I didn't realize it until now, but yeah, my hips are shooting up a little bit before I actually press up. Not that, like you just saw, that's just me getting my um, hamstrings to, you know, tense up. Just put a little bit of tension in my hamstrings before I pull up. It just works better with me. 
but yeah, I didn't really realize, but the weight might have been just a little bit too heavy. Maybe if I dropped the weight by about 5 kilos, it would have been fine, but that's alright, I'll just do that next time. I couldn't really suss my form while I was working out. This is quite possibly one of the best things I have ever eaten that I've made and there's a secret to it. It's not just avocado, tomato and bacon on bread that is toasted. There is a little secret ingredient right in there. See that little red thing like that? Yeah. Oh, where's my finger? That, that's strawberry jam. A thin layer of strawberry jam makes it so sweet and so glorious. Oh, so good. Hey guys, what's up? So, obviously it's the morning because I'm still in bed. I just wanted to say, over the past couple days I've been taking my rest more seriously. So I've been sleeping a little bit later to give myself more time to mellow out throughout the day. Uh, like throughout the night just to wind down more and I've been waking up a little bit later so I can get some more sleep some more rest and just let my body recover better in general now this is doing really well I can definitely tell that my mind is like sharper it's thinking clearer it's just it's feeling really good the only thing is since I've started doing weight training again as well as, as well as calisthenics my body is not used to the weights so it's really taxing at the moment it's my body's just not used to it so it is take like having a huge impact on how I feel throughout the day I'm just more fatigued in general but that's all right because you know what the food I eat is good all that so that that helps it but I can definitely tell it's taken a little bit of a toll but that's all right because eventually my body's gonna get used to it and all. But yeah, so I've started taking my rest more seriously. It feels great. I'm still trying to work hard, although I can tell that I've started slacking off a little bit. Now, I'm not sure if that's just like a byproduct of, you know, like my subconscious thoughts always trying to rest, making me more lazy, or if it's the right thing to do. Now, if you knew what I was like beforehand, you know that it was just all day work sort of thing for like most majority of the day of course with small breaks in between so decreasing my workload makes me feel like i'm lazy and that's just like a mental problem that i'm gonna have to get around and tell myself i'm not lazy it's just i'm doing less work than i used to i'm still getting my day done fairly early so yeah that's just a little mental obstacle i have to get around anyway i'm gonna get up make breakfast just start the day off it is very late at the moment, like, especially for me, it's 11 a.m. Usually I'm up and going, I would have had a lot of things done by now, but I trained legs yesterday, and, you know, it's just heavy compound, or not, or heavy for me, and with the compound movements, it just drained me, so I decided to stay a couple hours in bed and just relax, and yeah, so it's 11, gonna start my day off, I don't have much to do, gonna get as much as I can done for now, and I will see you guys soon. So I don't know, I'll probably be training. So the workout that you're seeing now, my chest workout actually happened today. My leg workout actually happened yesterday from the time of this recording. So, you know, the same thing applies. I started off light, so it's just uh, 20 kilos in total. And I was just warming up a little bit. I can't really, you know, see what I'm doing, so I was just trying to feel it out, and unlike my knee, my upper body is all good, so if I do something wrong, I won't be able to tell because there's not really much pain associated with it. So I loaded up to about 40 kilos on the bar, it felt pretty good, but I still felt like I was pushing the bar unevenly because up towards the top, I would feel a little bit more strain on, I think it was my right arm, can't really remember. So I decided to film from another angle, well, you know, not here, but eventually I filmed from another angle so I could see how the bar was moving. 
so I decided to put on more weight, so I think that's a total of 34, okay, so that's 50 kilos on the bar now, that's about 5 kilos less than my body weight, everything was feeling good, but I did have a slight, you know, idea that, I don't know, I just felt like something was off and I wasn't too sure what it was, but in terms of performance, I wasn't performing bad, like, especially given the fact that I haven't lifted weights in a very, very, very long time. So as you can see here, the bar isn't exactly equal, it's dropping on the left side. Now I think that's because of the way I held the bar, it's sort of not even and I think that's why it's dropping. So I wasn't aware of my, you know, the way I held the bar at the time, I just assumed it's because one side of my body is stronger than the other, so I tried to counterbalance it by pushing harder on using my left arm, but obviously that wasn't the problem, it's just the way I held the bar, and it's obvious because even when I lock out at the top, the left is dropping. So after finishing my regular bench press, I moved on to a close grip bench. Now this felt very weird for me just because it's a movement I'm not used to at all. Um, as you can see, it's not going too bad, but I think the later reps get a bit wobbly. Yeah, that one was a horrible rep. Got a bit wobbly. So I was trying to slow it down with this set, have more control over the bar and not really bounce it around as much. But it's just something I'm going to have to get my body to get used to again because it's only used to push-ups and pull-ups at the moment. And to finish off the workout, I was just doing some tricep extensions. Now there's no real reason why I do this to be honest, I was kind of against these sort of little accessory movements because they never seem to do too much for me. Um, but you know, my goals have changed, it's not all about functionality anymore, I sort of want to put on some mass, look a bit better, look a bit bigger. So yeah, I decided to incorporate these tricep pull downs. And that's essentially my workout, just the few main movements, in this case it was the bench press and the close grip bench and then finishing off with some triceps. Now eventually I will have to start relearning how to, you know, train for size and all that sort of stuff and I will start, you know, doing that instead of doing my regular push-ups and pull-ups. But yeah, that's it for my workout. <coughs> Here's another hit, baby.